W Group has always been focusing on the implementation of efficient, innovative and adaptable systems. With the continuous screening process, we are constantly analyzing which technologies and innovations fit best and should be therefore implemented, adapted and used within our production processes. Connecting the real and the digital world in order to implement an intelligent and connected production system is an essential part of that and has a high potential in our eyes. Digitalization creates new possibilities and efficiencies in production. It brings new perspective into product development, production planning and quality management. In this context, we see four areas of activity. Data and analytics, for example, predictive maintenance, smart logistics in order to increase transparency in our supply chain, innovative automation like human-robot collaborations, and additive manufacturing for mass customization and individualization, for example, through 3D printing. So, in a nutshell, digitalization helps us meet the challenges of the future and in this context both the company and our employees benefit from these developments with respect to efficiency, quality, flexibility and ergonomics. In the long run, these developments change also the role of our employees in the production process. In the future, they will focus more on process design and enabling. At BMW, I think we have highly experienced employees who possess a great wealth of process competencies and for whom lifelong learning is an important factor. This is highly evident, especially in our plans. Thus, work environment will be further developed and with respect to the demographic change, the reduction of physically demanding tasks is also a gain. The overall target is to employ our staff members even more appropriately and to maximize the utilization of their cognitive abilities. One focus in Plant Leipzig is on the so-called human-robot collaboration. Here humans and robots work in close collaboration without the need of encapsulation. By implementing highly sensitive sensors and an intelligent control technology, we achieve a level of safety in work that is really outstanding. We use human-robot collaboration especially in those areas where we have high precision requirements on the one side and the need for individual process design on the other side. Some examples are automatic application of window adhesive and the automatic insertion of plugs. In addition, we also focus on variable devices, such as smart watches and smart glasses. On the assembly line, we are already able to provide our employees with individual customized assembly information, and in logistics, intelligent gloves offer considerable potential to scan parts and to reduce sequence errors. Smart logistics is a very exciting topic in my eyes. In the future, so-called smart logistics robots will help us sorting empties and uh, highly automated material trains will provide material line site in a highly automated way. Further examples for digitalization are predictive maintenance, 3D printing and the use of augmented reality. All that helps us making our processes even better and more efficient and at the same time unburdening our employees from monotonous and physically demanding tasks. Logistics are in steady alteration and are getting more and more complex because of the increasing number of car models and options to choose. To remain competitive it's absolutely essential to start rethinking. The logistics supply of the vehicle assembly is based on different processes. We differentiate primarily between flexible industrial truck supply processes and supply via conveyor technique. In the assembly logistics, we apply different kinds of vehicles such as forklifts, trailers and material trains. At our location at BMW 2.4, we focus on the automatization of the material train supply for approximately one year. 
During our first research of the different navigation technologies, we focused the following three systems. Navigation with digital image processing, navigation with in-house GPS and natural navigation. We analyzed, tested and compared those systems in different trails. One of our main targets was the ability of flexible navigation without costly installations or infrastructure. After extensive comparison of the different technologies, we favored the principle of laser multilateration. This system records a 2D card during its movement. It allowed the material train to navigate freely within our facility structures. It results in a combination of this navigation technology with conventional material train equipment, which still have the opportunity to be controlled manually. With the additional sensor technology, we are able to comply with the personal safety requirements and ensure linking to automatic installations. In logistics, it's an important aim to remain flexible to all requirements while ensuring highest security of supply. By using automatic material trains, we want to enhance this flexibility among others. Other than the rollout of further automatic material trains, it's our aim to evolve automatic driving into autonomous driving. That means in the near future, vehicles will avoid obstructions independently and use alternative routes. From the plant 2.7, we supply our worldwide BMW Mini dealer organization with spare parts. In my daily action, there are two targets. Firstly, customer satisfaction. And that means the right part, in the right time, in the right quantity, at, in the right quality, at the right place. On the second hand, we take responsibility for our employees and environment. And that means we want to grow healthy together. And on the other hand, we have to create an attractive workplace for the children of our children. Now what is ProGlove? ProGlove is a wearable technology. A glove with an integrated scanner. And this scanner helps my employee to be safer, to be more economic and to be more efficient. Because they have both hands free for their natural and intuitive working process. In addition to the benefits for economic, the integrated scanner is more powerful. It is able to read all code tapes. It's even faster and more accurate than the most traditional scanners. Here, the digitization shows one times more that the benefit is in the small working processes and hand grips. And the genius is, the idea is really simple. The robot is responsible for the assembly of the of an axle transmission and the robot is taking and lifting the part in the housing of the transmission and he has to take care that the teeth of the transmission um, are fitting together. You have to imagine that the robot has to lift a part, a transmission part, which is really heavy. It weighs around eight kilograms and the robot has to make sure that the tools of the transmission are fitting together. Before we could use a robot, this task had to be done by a human being. And you have to imagine that the part which has to be lifted in the housing of the transmission is quite heavy. So we had to make sure that this human being could do it, number one. And on the other hand, we had to restrict the time frame. So we had to change over people within one or two hours. To make sure that the cooperation between man and machine is safe, we had to use two technologies. Technology number one is very slow movement of the robot, so the human being can see the robot coming. And number two is the robot is equipped with very uh, sensitive sensors, so in case of a collision, the robot will stop at once. So it's 100% safe to uh, work in close cooperation with the robot. Mm -hmm.